October 19th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Psalms chapters 145 and 146 from the Old Testament I will extol you, my God, O King. I will praise your name continually. Every day I will praise you. I will praise your name continually. The Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. No one can fathom his greatness. One generation will praise your deeds to another and tell about your mighty acts. I will focus on your honor and majestic splendor and your amazing deeds. They will proclaim the power of your awesome acts. I will declare your great deeds. They will talk about the fame of your great kindness and sing about your justice. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. He is patient and demonstrates great loyal love. The Lord is good to all and has compassion on all he has made. All he has made will give thanks to the Lord. Your loyal followers will praise you. They will proclaim the splendor of your kingdom. They will tell about your power. So that mankind might acknowledge your mighty acts and the majestic splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an eternal kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord supports all who fall and lifts up all who are bent over. Everything looks to you in anticipation and you provide them with food on a regular basis. You open your hand and fill every living thing with the food they desire. The Lord is just in all his actions and exhibits love in all he does. The Lord is near all who cry out to him, all who cry out to him sincerely. He satisfies the desire of his loyal followers. He hears their cry for help and delivers them. The Lord protects those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. My mouth will praise the Lord. Let all who live praise his holy name forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God as long as I exist. Do not trust in princes or in human beings who cannot deliver. Their life's breath departs, they return to the ground. On that day their plans die. How blessed is the one whose helper is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the one who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who remains forever faithful, vindicates the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord releases the imprisoned. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up all who are bent over. The Lord loves the godly. The Lord protects those residing outside their native land. He lifts up the fatherless and the widow, but he opposes the wicked. The Lord rules forever, your God, O Zion, throughout the generations to come. Praise the Lord. God, I love Psalm 145, where the psalmist runs out of words to talk about you. Uh, there's no dictionary, no thesaurus, no synonyms that can fulfill all the things that we want to say about you. I even find myself tripping over words sometimes uh, trying to talk about just how amazing and big and wonderful you are. And so I love that even David runs out of words at a certain point. I also love the fact, God, that I serve a God that... I can't understand. I love a God that I serve who is so big that I can't understand him. I love serving a God who's so big that I can't encompass him in, in words. Uh, I can't even uh, put into words all that you've done just in my own life, much less everything else that you've done. I can't imagine serving a God who I can understand, who is like me, who I can put in a box and, and see as a peer. But you're not that. To even begin to understand what sovereignty, what the word sovereignty means in relationship to you is nothing that we will, at least here on earth, be able to comprehend. But we can begin by understanding, like you say in the Bible, that your ways are higher than our ways. There's so many things that how we comprehend things isn't even close to what is really happening. 
in our own lives, God, allow us to apply that sovereignty that even though we may struggle with what we're going through right now, we put our faith and our trust and our obedience in the fact of your sovereignty and the fact that it is so big that even though we know that we don't understand what's going on, we know without a doubt that you completely know what's going on and more importantly, what is happening is for the best for us because you love us. And again, I'm at a loss for words because the love that you have for us doesn't come anywhere close to anything that we experience as human beings. Your love is so big and so wide and so deep that we can't even begin to fathom how much you truly care about us. But we can hold on to the hope and the belief and the truth that you always want what is best for us. And that if we just set our hearts and our minds on your will and keep walking in faith, in trust in that path, that you will always lead us down the path that is best for us. Doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. I totally get that. But it will be what is best for us. And at least for me, more importantly, it will be the plan you had for my life to glorify you and to reflect through my life how you've changed my heart and all that you've done in my life. I may not have enough words to explain how crazy awesome you are, but I do hope that the actions in my life at least begin to talk of your greatness. In your son's name, I pray. Amen.